Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So, normally, as if you're a long time viewer, you'll know that I don't actually show cutting the pattern very much, but that is going to change today because this video requires talking about the pattern. I'm teaching you guys how to make a pocket without the actual stitching, which is really, really useful if you want to make a low profile pocket T slot. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure out from the stitch line 10 mil down and we're going to cut that across. And yes, you can make the stitch line very, very low profile, but this just makes it even slimmer and faster to do. You don't need the stitch line for, uh, for strength. It's not necessary at all. So just a really tight glue bond will be more than adequate for any card holder that you make so you want to make this tab it's like a little t on the bottom of your t slot and just clean that up a little bit so now i'm actually going to cut out the leather i'm using a 1.1 uh, mil i think it is 1.1 mil auran goat so french goat skin and i'm going to do a really different combination and it's going to be this lovely blue and pink and the reason I'm doing that is just so that you can see it a bit better because if I do the whole thing that blue you won't see what I'm doing as well so I'm going to cut out the t-slot which isn't the normal t-slot as you just saw it's got that little tab on the bottom and you can do this with any t-slot any t-slot that you cut out you can put this on and you don't actually have to have a 10 mil uh, tab on the bottom it can be 5 or 6 mil. I'm just doing it here to, f to make it a bit easier for you guys to see. So it's really important that you skive the flesh side, uh, the grain side off. So the, the, the nice side is skived down. Because even sanding the grain side will not give you as strong a bond as if you skive it off. You need that glue to properly settle all the way into the leather. And you want to obviously make the transition as smooth as possible because that's kind of the whole point of what we're doing today. I'm using the uh, Jinlun, I think it's pronounced, skiving knife, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm also going to do a folded, uh, turned edge on the top just because it's a little bit quicker for the sake of the video. But you can do, you can paint the top, or you can use the same technique if you're doing, um, uh, if you're doing a veg tan as well. You can do exactly the same technique. If you want to learn more about this, I have a video showing how to make um, turned edges. I just search on my channel turned edges. I don't actually know how to do the um, cards. If I figure it out, I will do it. This will be a good time to mention actually, if you guys are enjoying the channel, which I really hope you are, don't forget to subscribe, like uh, like the video, hit the bell button, but also I ha I've turned on membership, it's a couple of dollars a month and it really helps me out. I've also got a Patreon which I'll link down below and it's exactly the same thing, it's just another type of membership because having a YouTube channel is very expensive and... Um, just it's difficult to run it takes a lot of energy so if you want to support me please do go ahead to my patreon and sign up to that or the membership down below And we're just going to do the same uh, folded edge, turned edge, it's kind of the same thing um, on the front pockets as well, which are in the beautiful blue, as uh, beautiful blue goat skin as well. There's a lot of as well, sorry. It's really important when you're turning edges that you crease it, because that, that 
crease line with the heat and the pressure helps set that glue so it won't come apart you don't need to stitch it if you crease it you can and it will help secure it but it's not totally necessary so use your awl to mark where that is um, at, the, at the top of the little T in that corner poke those holes all the way through and then we're going to cut along that line because that tab that T at the bottom is going to fold into this um, into this slot into this cut that we're making and it's going to go underneath the leather so make sure you put a liberal amount of of your contact adhesive on the on the um this tab on the bottom i'll call it a tab going forward i think instead of a t because that might be a bit confusing and you want to do the same thing on the underside of um the bottom of the underside so where that slot will go into it's the bottom not the top and then line it up nicely so that you have the slot because obviously once this is glued down it will be really quite hard to put it back off because it's flesh to flesh which is a very strong bond that's kind of the point just make sure that's pressed down really nicely and you can see it from the back it makes it a very very clean transition which is rather nice And now we're going to make the card holder as we would with any other card holder that you're going to make. And we're going to glue the T-slot down and we're going to glue the um, the front pocket down because this is a five pocket card holder. You will notice I'm not painting the top edge because I'm just making this for the purpose of the tutorial to show you how you would make this yourself. So I'm not going to paint the top of the card holder. And that's it, I've just put them together and it's uh, all ready to be glued to the back. You can see that it's slightly uneven on the edges. I'll tidy that up afterwards. It's, it's just because when you crease very soft goat, it can stretch. And that's why the pockets are slightly wider than the, pa the pattern is, because it's stretched with that creasing. So if you're making something with unlined goat skin, when it's lined, it won't stretch as much. It will stretch a little bit. But if you're making something with unlined goat skin yourself, just be careful because it can stretch. So wait for it to either return back or snip off the excess. Those the choice is completely yours. It will do the same thing. And it's time to do my favorite well, my second favorite thing, stitching. Absolutely love stitching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much.